curve, describe the allosteric effectors of oxygen dissociation curve, explain transportation of oxygen and carbon dioxide through hemoglobin. Your patient, a 70-year-old man presented to the emergency department following a house fire. Smoke rose through the floors and windows and the patient was exposed to significant smoke inhalation. The man arrived at hospital drowsy and less responsive. Initial blood pressure was 139 by 84 pulse, 74 beats per minute. Arterial blood gas analysis showed PI 7.4, partial pressure oxygen 10.1 kPa, and partial pressure of carbon dioxide is 5.46 kPa. At the end of the lecture, students will be able to diagnose this gas. Now in the previous lecture, students, I told you about the two conformation of hemoglobin. Hemoglobin present in relaxed state and tense state. Oxygen has high affinity for hemoglobin in the relaxed state. Tense state is predominant conformation of deoxyhemoglobin. Oxygen dissociation curve. Now what is oxygen dissociation curve? The ability of hemoglobin to load and unload oxygen at physiological partial pressure of oxygen is explained by oxygen dissociation curve. Hemoglobin must bind oxygen efficiently in the lungs where the partial pressure of oxygen is very high that is 100 mm of mercury and release oxygen in tissues where the partial pressure of oxygen is very low that is 40 mm of mercury. Here you see that the sigmoidal shape of the oxygen dissociation curve for hemoglobin the shape of the curve of hemoglobin is sigmoidal. So this shape is due to allosteric effect or cooperativity. Now students, what do you mean by cooperativity? The binding of first oxygen molecule to hemoglobin increases the affinity of the remaining subunits for oxygen molecules. This is because the hemoglobin molecules change its conformation from tense state to relaxed state as oxygen bind to it. The sigmoidal shape of hemoglobin occur in the hemoglobin because of its quaternary structure and the conversion of or conformation from tense state to relaxed state from one subunit then second and third and fourth subunit increase the affinity of hemoglobin towards the oxygen. Myoglobin now here if you see the curve oxygen dissociation curve of myoglobin it is hyperbolic in shape this is hyperbolic shape. Myoglobin can bind only with more one molecule of oxygen because it contains only one heme group in a single polypeptide chain. The oxygen dissociation curve for hemoglobin has hyperbolic shape. The graph shows that myoglobin has a higher oxygen affinity than does hemoglobin. Here you see that the affinity of myoglobin towards oxygen is higher than hemoglobin. But myoglobin will not be suited for oxygen transportation in the body. Why? Because when myoglobin will bind with the oxygen efficiently in the lungs, where the partial pressure of oxygen is high, but myoglobin would not release much of it in the tissues 
where the partial pressure of oxygen is very low. Hemoglobin solved this problem by undergoing a transition state from a low affinity state T state to a high affinity state R state. The oxygen dissociation curve for hemoglobin is bidel in shape. Indicate cooperative binding means although it is difficult for first oxygen to bind to the hemoglobin. Here you see that initially it's difficult for the first oxygen to bind to the hemoglobin molecules but it increases the oxygen affinity of the remaining heme groups in the same hemoglobin molecules thus the binding of second third and fourth oxygen molecules rapidly occur as shown by steep upward curve in this steep upward curve this is because the increase of the affinity of the remaining subunits of the hemoglobin towards oxygen and increase the binding of the second third and fourth oxygen molecule with the hemoglobin subunits between a pressure between 20 to 30 millimeter of mercury. It permits hemoglobin to carry and deliver oxygen efficiently from sites of high partial pressure of oxygen to sites of low pressure partial pressure of oxygen. The last oxygen is approximately 300 times greater than its affinity for the first oxygen bound. Cooperativity also facilitates in the release of oxygen from hemoglobin in the tissues. The loss of one oxygen molecule from the hemoglobin lowers the affinity for the remaining oxygen. Thus, in this way, hemoglobin behave if hemoglobin completely transfer oxygen to the tissues. If hemoglobin behave like myoglobin, very little oxygen would be released in capillaries of tissues. Hemoglobin is an allosteric protein. Hemoglobin has allosteric sites or regulatory sites to which a factor binds and controls the oxygen binding properties of hemoglobin. Affectors either increase or decrease the affinity of hemoglobin towards oxygen. Homotropy effect An allosteric factor affects its own binding affinity. For this homotropic effect, the example is oxygen. Oxygen is the allosteric factor which affects its bone on binding affinity. I told you in the previous slides that binding of the first oxygen molecule enhance the binding, enhance the affinity of the remaining hemoglobin subunits towards the oxygen molecules. So it increases its own affinity of uh, its own affinity towards hemoglobin subunits. Heterotropic effect and allosteric effector is different from the ligand whose binding is altered. For example, the binding of 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate when it binds to the regulatory sites other than the active sites, it decreases the affinity of hemoglobin towards oxygen. Now, hemoglobin allosteric effectors are oxygen, which has homotropic effect, positive allosteric effector means it increases the affinity of hemoglobin towards oxygen. Heterotropic effect like proton ions, carbon dioxide, 2 3 bisphosphoglycerate. They are the negative allosteric attack effectors, means they decrease the affinity of hemoglobin towards oxygen. Allosteric effectors shift the oxygen dissociation curve either towards right or left. Here you see that if a right shift indicates the hemoglobin has low affinity for oxygen 
and left sheet indicates the hemoglobin has high affinity for oxygen. Bose effect. What is Bose effect? An increase in partial pressure of carbon dioxide or decreases in pH result in a lower affinity of hemoglobin for oxygen is called Bose effect. This, mani this manifests as a right first shift in the oxygen dissociation curve. Bose effect is the influence of pH and partial pressure of carbon dioxide to facilitate the oxygenation of hemoglobin in lungs and deoxygenation of hemoglobin at tissues. Transportation of oxygen and carbon dioxide by hemoglobin. Now in this diagram, you will see the effect of partial pressure of carbon dioxide on and pH on the oxygenation of hemoglobin and deoxygenation of hemoglobin. When oxygenated blood reaches the capillaries of the tissues, in tissues where partial pressure of carbon dioxide is high, here you see that in the tissues the partial pressure of carbon dioxide is high, it diffuses in the into the red blood cells in the presence of carbonic acid, carbon dioxide convert into carbonic acid in the presence of this enzyme carbonic anhydrase. Carbonic acid dissociate into protons and bicarbonate ions. Bicarbonate ions and protons, when carbonic acid ionizes, it releases the protons which causes the intercellular pH falls down because of the production of protons through this ionization of carbonic acid. The intercellular pH decreases and because the decreases of the intercellular pH, the affinity of the hemoglobin towards oxygen decreases. So oxygen released from the hemoglobin and they are transferred to the tissues. The protons which are released, they are taken up by the deoxygenated hemoglobin. The bicarbonate ions which are produced, they diffuse out into the plasma. An equal amount of chloride ions enter into the, an equal amount, here you see that equal amount of chloride ions enter into the RBCs. This is called chloride shift to maintain the electrically neutral in the intercellular environment. So bicarbonate ions, the 75% of carbon dioxide in the form of plasma bicarbonate ions transfer to the lung capillaries. Now after uh, reaching the deoxygenated blood to the lung capillaries, here the partial pressure of carbon dioxide is low and uh, pH is high and partial pressure of oxygen is significantly elevated. And because of this, the affinity of hemoglobin, the affinity of hemoglobin towards oxygen increases and hemoglobin, oxygenation of hemoglobin occur. Hemoglobin releases the protons. These protons are captured by these bicarbonate ions. Bicarbonate ions from the plasma diffuses into the red blood cells and reversal of chloride shift occur in the lung capillaries. Then these bicarbonate ions accept the protons and convert it into carbonic acid through carbonic anhydrase and then convert it into carbon dioxide, diffuses out and through the lungs it ex ex uh, exhaled. So in this way, the oxygen is transferred through RBCs to the tissues and carbon dioxide from tissues to the lungs. Now next, the effect of 2-3-base phosphoglycerate. 
टू थ्री बीस फॉस्फोग्लिसेट इज एन इंटरमीडिएट कंपाउंड इन ग्लाइकोलिस इन द रेड ब्लड सेल्स एंड नॉर्मली इट इज प्रेजेंट इन द आर बी सी फाइव मिली मोल पर लीटर टू थ्री बीस फॉस्फोग्लिसेट इज अ नेगेटिव एलो स्टेरिक अफेक्टर वॉट डू मीन बाई नेगेटिव एलो स्टेरिक अफेक्टर इट डिक्रीज द एफिनिटी ऑफ हीमोग्लोबिन टू वर्ड्स ऑक्सीजन आफ्टर बाइंडिंग so reducing the affinity of hemoglobin to bind with oxygen in general an increase in intercellular 2 3bis phosphoglycerate is found in response to chronic hypoxia or anemia when the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood is diminished binding of 2 3bis phosphoglycerate with the hemoglobin results in a rightward shift of oxygen dissociation curve and more oxygen being released in the tissues so 2 3bis phosphoglycerate helpful in transfer of oxygen to the tissues in hypoxia or chronic anemic condition here in the graph you see that if you increase the concentration of 2 3bis phosphoglycerate from 5 mm per liter to 8 mm per liter the oxygen dissociation curve shift towards right a fact of temperature hyperthermia causes a rightward shift in the oxygen dissociation curve while hypothermia causes a leftward shift rightward shift means increase and decrease the affinity of hemoglobin towards oxygen while leftward shift shows the increase in the affinity of hemoglobin towards oxygen increasing temperature will weaken and denature the bond between an oxygen and a hemoglobin carboxy hemoglobin formation of carbon monoxide hemoglobin called carboxy hemoglobin the affinity of hemoglobin for carbon monoxide is 210 times more than that for oxygen carbon monoxide is a competitive inhibitor for hemoglobin carbon monoxide irreversibly bind to the heme thus unable the hemoglobin to transfer the oxygen carbon monoxide is a very toxic gas and it's half needed to the heme than oxygen it forms from tobacco smoking car exhaust and incomplete combustion furnaces self hemoglobin it forms due to high sulfur levels in blood self hemoglobin formation of self hemoglobin is a irreversible reaction it reducing the capability of transporting oxygen through hemoglobin this condition may occur from the chronic uses of certain drugs now the review of the lecture self hemoglobin formation of self hemoglobin occur due to some ingestion of uh, due to the use of some chronic drugs uh, chronic use of certain drugs and uh, Uh, high levels of sulfur sulfur forms self hemoglobin it reduces the capability of transporting the oxygen carboxy hemoglobin it's a toxic gas it has high affinity towards heme and it uh, the uh, forms from tobacco smoking car exhaust incomplete combustion furnaces causes carbon monoxide poisoning carboxy hemoglobin has 210 times more affinity than oxygen a fact of temperature hyperthermia decrease the affinity of hemoglobin towards oxygen hypothermia increase the affinity of hemoglobin towards oxygen 2 3 bis phosphoglycerate 
टू थ्री बीस वॉसुगली स्ट्रीट इज एन इंटरमीडिएट ऑफ विच साइकिल क्लैपलेस इट्स टू थ्री बीस फॉसुगली स्ट्रीट इज अ पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव एलोस्टैरिक अफेक्ट वर्ड इट्स अ नेगेटिव एलोस्टैरिक अफेक्ट वर्ड डू यू मीन बाई नेगेटिव एलोस्टैरिक अफेक्ट इट डिक्रीज द एफिनिटी ऑफ हिमोग्लोबिन सब यूनिट्स टूवर्ड्स द ऑक्सीजन when the levels of 2 3 phosphoric glycerate increase in the rbcs during hypoxia and chronic anemic condition the binding of 2 3 phosphoric glycerate decreases the affinity of hemoglobin towards oxygen thus oxygen transferred to the tissues transportation of oxygenated oxygen through oxygenated hemoglobin and then carbon dioxide from tissues to lungs it occurs through the difference in the ph and partial pressure of carbon dioxide and partial pressure of oxygen as you see that in the tissues partial pressure of carbon dioxide increases and ph decreases so it enhances the deoxygenation of hemoglobin in the tissues oxygen release from the hemoglobin while in the lungs the, the partial pressure of carbon dioxide is decreased and ph is increased and partial pressure of oxygen is significantly elevated in lung capillaries so it causes the oxygenation of hemoglobin oxygenation of hemoglobin occurs in lung capillaries and deoxygenation of hemoglobin occur in the tissues what is bose effect increase in partial pressure of carbon dioxide or decreases in ph results in lower affinity of hemoglobin for oxygen what are allosteric factors allosteric factors affect the affinity of hemoglobin towards oxygen they either move the oxygen dissociation curve towards right or left right means decrease affinity of hemoglobin towards oxygen left means increase affinity of hemoglobin towards oxygen oxygen has homotopic or heterotopic effect oxygen has homotopic effect but because it affects its its own binding it increases the affinity of hemoglobin towards the towards its own ligand towards its own uh, oxygen molecules heterotopic effect protons carbon dioxide two three bis phosphoglycerate they bind on the other side they bind on the regularity sites which are other than the active sites and uh, they produce negative allosteric effect means decrease the affinity of hemoglobin towards oxygen hemoglobin is a allosteric protein it binds with the factors and these factors control the oxygen binding properties of hemoglobin cooperativity what is cooperativity cooperativity means the binding of first oxygen molecules increase the affinity of the second third and fourth oxygen molecules towards the hemoglobin subunits and this occur because the conformation of the hemoglobin subunits change from tense state towards relaxed state myoglobin has hyperbolic curve and hemoglobin has sigmoid curve but myoglobin is not suited for the transportation of oxygen and to the whole body because it tightly bind with the oxygen so it will not transport the oxygen to the tissues while due to the cooperative binding of uh, 
uh, oxygen and the hemoglobin subunits make the hemoglobin an efficient oxygen carrier and uh, it 98% hemoglobin completely saturated in the lungs where the partial pressure of oxygen is 100 millimeter mercury and in the tissues maximum transfer of oxygen to the tissues where the partial pressure of oxygen is low 40 millimeter mercury and it occurs because of the cooperativity of the uh, hemoglobin